I'm not just about dancing. I'm about their character, their attitude, them being special. You don't have to be the brightest, and you don't have to be the what they call the prettiest. You find something. I find something in every child I have. And then I make them even more special. She doesn't hold back. And um, I, I have to um, listen a little bit more to her details because she wants it, she knows what she wants. And, and when you do it slightly your way, um, she, she corrects you immediately. And I'm glad she does that because now my homework is better. It's unbelievable how blessed I am to be working with her. I have brought everything into my classes from what when I started in New York. I also danced in a nightclub. You learn something in a nightclub. You learn with all the drunks. You learn to smile and always look like you're enjoying what you're doing. So that's performance. Oh, I love being different. I didn't like being the same. I got that attitude when I was 16 years old in high school. I saw all my girlfriends, and all my girlfriends were smart and bright, and there they were going on to Vassar, Harvard, Yale, whatever, Michigan. But I went to New York to study ballet. My husband made it very easy. He was very versatile, and he allowed me, he helped me continue on with what I like to do. The mothers I, and fathers I have today, they are special mothers. They are mothers that need to be recognized and need to be given credit because they are getting us quality children and they come to me for quality care. She just makes you want to be better and want to do some of the things that she's doing. She's amazing with the kids and she's just overall amazing and a great role model for us moms. She's like the perfect epitome of what it's like to be 90. She brings the sass, the class, and she's just overall fabulous. It is your attitude and this is what I want to pass on to the children I'm around now. I have a lot of children now and if you meet them, you can tell that they're my children. Kendra said, I want you to be my assistant. She never saw me dance, but she saw my attitude. She saw my presence. I'm getting chills just sitting here talking about the influence that she's had on the girls and even myself. Even myself, she's taught me to be a calmer teacher. She's taught me to uplift. She's taught me to give criticism, but also build the girls back up. She's honestly like such a hero. I love her so much. I've been working with her for about three years now. She's taught me so much and I never ever take her class for granted because I know in the future it's really going to impact my life as a dancer. She helps me with my confidence and helps all the girls with, her, with their confidence. I've been very blessed. I tell people I'm one of the richest women that I know because it's not it's many things. It's not the stuff or the money or it's the people that I've met along the way. I hope this 90 year old body will be able to continue doing what she's been doing. Please welcome Miss Millie Cruzette. Miss <laughs> Millie, oh. they think that they they think that I want to be like you when I grow up, and I do want to be like you when I grow up. It won't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a way of life. Yes. It's not. It's many things. I was fortunate to be exposed to many many things gone to Africa, Cape Town, climbed a mountain when I was 72 years old, mm. and uh, living, living out of the box. Yes. That's, and don't stay in that box. And it's kindness, it's an attitude, 
our attitudes are, it's very important. And we've got to work on our, work on our children mm -hmm. about attitudes. Yeah. Oh, you ain't kidding. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Miss Billy, tell me this. What, what keeps you inspired? What makes you get out of bed every morning and be so inspired to, to tackle the day and to teach? and it's to so fabulous. I keep guess doing. because I enjoy what I do. You know, I like to cook. I make, I bake cakes and cookies. Oh, next time I'll bring cakes and cookies. Oh, please <laughs> do. <Deal>. And, um, <laughs> Um, I'm a sort of a junkie. I like sweets and everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I like to exercise. And when, as you age, you cannot sit. Mm -hmm. You can't sit and watch television. Just sit. Yeah. On, only on Windy City Live. You can watch Windy City Live, and then you got. No, but she's going to tell you how to watch it. Wow. You've got to sit on the floor. Okay. Okay. Wow. You got to sit and use your back. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Use your core. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it strengthens you. Right. Because when you get older, you got, you go down. Yeah. down. Right, right. 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 Yes. And your back is so, so I, straight. So I tried to stay. Yeah. It has a lot to do with Graham technique. I had an excellent teacher. Um, um, <laughs> Harriet Ross, she was, she gave me this technique. She taught me this technique when I danced with Joseph Holmes. And it's been worth it. And it's something you don't get in a yeah. health club, but it's in yeah. a dancing mm -hmm. room. Miss Millie, you're such a groundbreaker, especially as a woman of color and in the era that you were dancing as well. <laughs> um, but we're all around the age of 40. Yes, what would you tell your 40-year-old self? What's the best piece of advice you wish you could have told your 40-year-old self? Uh, the many things about it's what you're doing now. You embrace other things in yourself. You learn about other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People. If you stay in the box, right. I call it the box. Get out of the box. Get out of the box. Get out of the box. Try mm -hmm. something you've never tried before. That is right. I do something. Every decade I'm doing something different. You just started mm -hmm. modeling 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. With oh. And um, a lot of things I just start with, but it's challenging, but it's so refreshing and it keeps me alive. Mm -hmm. right. It keeps me um, connected with. People. With people. Yeah. Right. A lot of people don't get connected. And this is very important at this, at this time. Since we have a little cockatoo. <laughs> cockatoo? Uh, in the White House? In office? Yeah, in the house. Okay. Oh. <laughs> got you. She does remind me of Mother Dear. Yes. Uh, we've got to think better. We've got to think healthier, stronger. And especially women. Women, I don't know what he, if he thinks you don't have a voice. Mm. I've had a voice since the 40s. I've been liberated since the 40s. And I don't need him to tell us what we can do. Yeah. Miss <laughs> Millie, we love you. Thank you so much for being here. You know, you see Ryan didn't cross his legs because he's not as flexible yeah. as no, you. No, I'm not. No, we well, we'll work on it. We, we need to work, work on, on it. Flexibility yeah. is very important. Yeah. Remember, ladies. Go back. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, she's been a true inspiration to us. Thank you, Miss Millie.